Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to be doing a video that I've seen before. Um, The one where I've seen is Mia Maples. She's here on YouTube. Go look her up. She's amazing. Love her. She has no idea I exist, but she's cool. Anyway, that's where I got this video idea from. But she did a video <clears throat> excuse me, about her horoscope and letting like her horoscope decide her like the way she dressed, the way her hair was, and her makeup. And I thought that was a really cool idea. So we are going to be doing something similar to that, except for what we're doing is we're going to let it decide our makeup and our hair. Um, I searched through a lot of Google and a lot of Pinterest, and this wasn't easy. Let me tell you, this is kind of hard. Um, outfits all over the place and I didn't want to go up and buy like a special outfit for this video so I kind of wanted to see what I had in my closet it's just a lot so we're not doing the outfit today but we are doing the hair and the makeup but I also want to say too on especially Google there was a ton of different ideas for like I'm a Leo for example and there's like a ton of different examples of makeup, a ton of different examples for hairstyles. I went with the ones that I think I could pull off here at home. So yeah, we're gonna try this and hopefully it works out. And I, I mean, I'm excited for this video. Um, I've been trying to plan it out for a while just to get like ideas on Pinterest and Google to like show you guys. That way I'm like not just kind of like making it up as I go. Um, so yeah, I kind of put a lot of planning into this video, but I think we are ready. Like I said, there was a lot of planning going into this. So, um, as far as makeup goes, they didn't mention, like, I couldn't find anything on bronzer, which is fine. Um, blush, I did manage to find something. It's close to what I found, not quite exact, but I wanted to do, like, like I said, things that I have here at home. They want to make a special trip to the store just to like find specifically those items. But we're gonna wing it, and it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be fun. Like I'm not going anywhere today, so it's it's okay. We're just gonna do it. It's fun. All right. So first, before we get too far into this, I want to do eye primer, and that is Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. If I can get my chair screwed up, there we go. Yeah. Trying to get comfy, move this on just slightly so you can see what I am doing. So we'll put that on. And like I said, I couldn't find anything for like eye primer or primer on the face so obviously I needed it so I just kind of went with what I had and yeah the way Mia did it she did it very very awesome and it looked and turned out really really cool um I am not at that level currently so it's okay it's all right it'll work out I'm I think it's gonna turn out all right Alright, so now that the eye primer is on, let me make sure I just got that rubbed in really, really well. I don't want any of that showing up. Alright, now let's go ahead and move on to obviously the eyeshadow, which is going to be fun. But before I get too far ahead of myself, let me put on some of uh, this eye tape here. There we go, camera focus. There we go. Anyway, you can use this. You can go out and buy it if you want. I found it. I think it was at Walmart, I want to say. But you can also use band-aids. And I've seen people use tape as well. So that is another option or a couple of options for you if you don't want to go out and buy this. These are really nice. So I'm really handy. And they just kind of look like this packaging. You just slide it off. And you just do that. I'm just letting you guys know that you don't have to strictly go out and buy this. You do have like options. I want to make that just a little bit even with the other side. Alright, I think that's good. But anyway, 
options. So now I want to show you the eye look that I'm kind of going for. So like I said, there's many different ways that I've seen this on Google and on Pinterest, but I found this eye look. Zoom in on my phone here. And hopefully you guys can see it. It's this one right here. And I seen a lot of orange and a lot of like gold. So I figured that would be a perfect opportunity for me to bring this out because I think I've only ever used this once and I've been wanting to use her again for a while. But here is my, forgot how to read there for a minute. Sorry, Zodiac Love Signs by BH Cosmetics. So there's that. And this also has a highlighter in the middle. Now, it didn't tell me what about anything about highlighter, but I'm like, you know what? It's in the palette. We'll use it. And I'll just do highlighter like I normally would. Highlight, we'll set this off. Like I said, I've only used this once, but look how pretty that is. It's a shame I should use this more. Look how nice that is. Like, here's that highlighter in the middle. And then, like, it has a nice mirror. It is a big palette, but that's okay. Um, This is, where are you? Here you are. Leo right here. So it's like a shimmery, whoops, I guess I can show you guys. Shimmery shade here, and then like a more matte shade here. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting like this matte shade down, and then going with the shimmery. And it's just kind of like orange and gold, pretty much. But here's this matte shade on my finger here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But then there's that. And then here's that shimmery shade. But I think that would be really pretty on top. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, Obviously our eyes are very drastic. And um, I don't know how much you guys know about horoscopes, but they said Leo is like a dramatic, bold color for eye. So... Yeah, we're going to get bold and dramatic today. As soon as I find some eyeshadows. There we go. And then we'll get up this one. Well, we'll wait on that one. Okay, so first things first. Since this does have a mirror, which is nice. I am going to go in. Hopefully I can hold this one. With this matte shade. Oh, God. So I hit myself in the head. Right here. And then think about like doing, whoop, right here, sorry. And then doing like the glitter over top of it. So we shall see how this works. I'm sorry I can't hold that up anymore. It's such a big freaking palette. Anyway, let's just do this. It is cool. Like it gives you like so many options though. I'm going to try to hold this where you guys can see. I've been doing this new thing where I've been doing my eyes first, and then if I do make mistakes, the foundation cleans up most of those mistakes. So that is nice. No. Here's what that first eye is looking like, kind of like a little bit orangey gold. Now we'll go ahead with our other sign here. Like I said, they have millions of different eyeshadows. I haven't seen a blue one, like I've seen like a nude one, but I've seen a lot of orange and gold, so I figured this would be perfect. And we'll do that about one at a time.
All right, so there's the other side situation. Now we are going to go ahead with a different eyebrow or eyeshadow, eye shadow brush, not eyebrow. And we're going to do this gold shimmery shade over top here. Now I did cheat a little bit and I already had this palette, but you can find your palette and we got some orangish gold in there. It would work out fine too. And I know they have like a line, I think it's Wet and Wild, I want to say it has like a star sign or horoscope collection, which I really want to get. I just haven't been able to yet, but I do want to try that out as well. But if anybody's tried that, let me know how they like it in the comments. Because the girl's been curious. So there's that shimmer shade on top. So everybody thinks this is like dramatic, but hey, that's a Leo for you. Only dramatic. So there's that situation. I am going to pull this side up just a little bit because of that bold and dramatic statement. Just a slight bit more on us. This is like almost touching my eyebrows. Whew. We will have to clean up a little bit up top, but that's normal for me. So there's that situation. Now, what I'm going to do is pull off the tape and then we're going to do an under eye here with this color as well for Leo. So let me take these off. So I'm going to go back to with my other brush that I use. It doesn't have the shimmer shade on there and just lightly go in underneath. And we're going to pull that color down for our under eye. That situation here. So I am going to have to clean that up the underside a little bit, but there's that. So for right now, we are done with this palette, but it is such a nice, get this little plastic thingy to put back on, but it's such a nice palette. These do not have names for their colors, but it is nice, but there's that. Like, look at all those pretty colors. Like, I think Scorpio here is pretty. It's like a light pink. Sagittarius is like a dark purple, that'd be pretty. Capricorn is my husband, and that's like a nice light blue, it's pretty. And then here's like an Aries over here, it's a nice light pink as well. Dude, Gemini's pretty too, that's like a bright purple. Ooh. Anyway, there's that, and we'll be back with this palette when we're ready to do highlighter. We just haven't made it far yet. Alright, so they didn't let me know anything about, obviously, primer and foundation. So, I'm going to go with the e.l.f. The words aren't working today. E.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer here. And I'm going to move that lighting over just a little bit. So you guys aren't getting the glare. Well, that's too far. There we go. That's better. I don't want to be in the dark. A little bit better. Eh, there we go. I didn't want to be in, like, the dark. But I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. You really don't need too much of that primer. Okay. I want to just roll that in. Like so. So just ignore my eyes right now. They will be cleaned up. 
which is I haven't made it that far yet because I like letting the foundation do a lot of that. There we go. Why did I smack my face? I don't know. I just felt like it was necessary. So, like I said, they didn't tell me anything for, like, a foundation. But I figured maybe, like, a nice light coverage would be okay. Um, this is... Got some foundation or primer up there. Uh, this is a Sassy and Cheek Moisturizing Foundation in the shade Light 1. I figured that would be okay to use. But yeah, a little bit green sponge here. God, that was a lot. Obviously, you don't need this much. I just apparently, my body thinks I need a lot. Anyway, get my mirror here. Let's put this on. Guys, it is not fully dark outside yet, and it's like after six sometime, six, six o'clock sometime, um, I don't know what the exact time is right now, but I know it's after six, and I am like so excited. I am ready for summer. So ready for the warmer weather, even spring is like nice, compared to winter. I am not a winter fan at all. I'm gonna go in with this just a little bit more here. Just lightly going in underneath my eye here to clean up some of that from my eye shadow. Alright, and of course we need just a tiny itty bit for our neck, but watch me far along. There we go, that's about all we need for our neck. You don't want your face and neck to be like two different colors. Let me get the hair out of the way. We'll move on to the hair when we're done with makeup. I look really pale underneath this lighting. I promise I'm not this pale. It's just this lighting situation today is just not working and I gotta fix that too. So I apologize about that as well. Alright, moving on. So they didn't tell me anything about concealer, so we're just not gonna not do that today. And now we are going to move on. Now they said like bold and like dramatic. So they didn't tell me anything for mascara. But I'm just going to do the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara here. Um, because why not? It makes my lashes bold and dramatic. As I poke myself in the eye like I normally do. Alright. 
let that dry for a little bit and do its thing. Now we are going to go ahead with blush and I'll show you a picture I did find on my phone. I did manage to find blush after a very long time of searching. But I found this right here. Right there and it's kind of like a light pink. So I, it doesn't have any shimmers in it but I figured I can substitute that with this e.l.f light pink one now it does have a little bit of shimmer to it but i figured it was okay for a substitute that i had already at home we will make it work if i can get it open we shall see there we go but i didn't think it was like too bad it was like a light pink um you know my blush brush over here back here this big old motor brush here and just and then put that on her cheeks and I figured like Leo obviously there's the bold and dramatic thing again but sparkles I think would probably help that this blush does it show up on my skin a whole lot, but that's alright, it's there. I mean, you can tell it's there, it's just not like super pigmented, which is fine, that's not a bad thing. Alright, we'll go to the other side here. So there's that. I know you guys can like barely see that, but it is there. It's just that light. And that's okay. <laughs> Moving on real quick. Before I get too farther, I'm before we put on the highlighter, I am gonna clean up my eyes here real quick before we add the highlighter so that way I don't clean my eyes and take off the highlighter on accident. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that off camera real quick because you guys don't want to see that. And I will be right back. Alright, I think that's as good as that's gonna get for right now, guys. But there is that. I'll close my eyes show you. But there's that situation. Now we are gonna be going back to the highlight. And we're gonna be using that same palette if I grab it from down here. Don't mind me, I'm back. Anyway, we're gonna be using that because um they didn't tell me anything about highlighter that I could find either. But um it's okay. We'll just use the highlighter that's in here because yeah, it still counts as part of it, right? So that's just fine. I just need to find a small highlighter brush. Because I mean look how pretty the highlighter is, I can show you guys. Oh, okay. Definitely a light hand on that, but there's that. I'm sure how well you guys can see that. But anyway, I can hear the birds chirping outside and it just sounds amazing. I think this will be a good highlighter brush. So we're going to just dip it in here. And then with not so much of a light hand, but and very, 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 very lightly. Just kind of go on her nose here. Ooh, it's highlighted pink. We'll cross our face here like so. Hello. Google Maps is going to find us and that's okay. Do a little bit more here on my brush. Okay, and then just a tiny itty bit on my cupid's bow. Alright, I don't know how well you guys can see that glow, but it is there. I love it. Now we are officially done with this palette. Put that back. And we are almost done, guys. So now we are going to be moving on again to our lip. Now they didn't say anything about like bronzer, 
um, contour or I couldn't find anything on concealer either so we we're skipping all that but now we're going to be moving on to our lid and I have been debating it's a Leo so it's a bold red lip and I've been debating on two different colors but I will show you guys that color here real quick and zoom zoom in here there would be Leo there'd be my lip bright red but it's pretty though I don't mind a bold red lip so we are going with that so I've been stuck between they're both elf but I'm stuck between the elf um liquid matinee lipstick and red vixen and then also the elf matte lip color in brick or rich red excuse me i'm kind of maybe leaning towards more of the brick red though i think we're gonna do that one instead because i mean it's pretty wet red here you my mirror so you see what i'm doing Oh yeah, I think that'll work out. Alright, there's that situation. I gotta clean up my lips like normal. Because I don't know, I can never do like a straight, perfect lip stick at any time. But there's that. There's that, and for some reason that inner corner is just giving me problems. I think that's as good as that's going to get today. They didn't say anything about lip gloss, so we are skipping that step as well. Oh, that one corner is just not wanting to work with me today. And now we need to spray our face. They didn't say anything about that either, but I'm going to be using the Morphe, or Morphe Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist with Starberry Scent here. Ooh, really bad glare. There it is. There we go. Let me just do that real quick. This is a really nice gentle mist. It's not like shooting you in the face. That's why I love it. Now there's that guys. Now we need to move on to the hair. So I appreciate that you guys have stuck around this long. So for hair, I actually managed to find a picture of that too. Like I said, they've had many, many, many different hairstyles. But I am going to be doing this one. I found this one. is kind of a popular one. And where'd you go? There you go. Kind of like this top yeah. one here. Braids. I'm going to attempt to do a going up all the way down. 
So let me start that. Guys, I am not the best braider over here. I mean, I could do decently, but when it comes to like really nice looking braids, I can't like do very well. So this may be a process, but it's definitely better than some of those other hairstyles they seem because I couldn't do that either. But it's okay. We're gonna do our best here. All right, so let's attempt. Should have brought a brush with me, but I didn't. All right, let's attempt to do something with this hair, shall we? My hair just kind of likes to do its own thing, like this piece here. I'm trying to get them up really high for you guys to um yeah my hair likes to do its own thing it has a mind of its own and I can't really control it but I'm gonna like I said do my best situation like i said this is not gonna be the best but we're gonna give it our best or it's not gonna look the best but we're gonna give it our best for now i would also like to say my hair is like super thin and they think the girl in the picture's hair was like thicker so mine won't obviously look as good as hers but that's all right Coming to the end of my hair here for one side. The birds are still chirping and it's almost like completely dark out now. <laughs> That's all right though. All right, guys. There And I will show you the end result here in just a sec. Alright guys, this is the end result for the hair. Like I said, it's not perfect, but we did the best we could right now. And this is the end result to the makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys wish to see further uploads from me, um, just hit that little bell at the corner if you like. I would really appreciate it if you did. Um, this is overall a fun look, though. I do like this. I'm sorry I don't have an outfit for you guys. They just had so many options and nothing that I really had here. I did find one, but I don't really have, like, the pants for that at home right now. So, anyway, I'll do some shopping here eventually, and I plan on doing this again. Maybe I could use the, um, Wet and Wild. They have, like, a makeup thing that they came out with, Wet and Wild did. Um, it has, like, star signs all over it. It's, like, the Star Horoscope Collection or something. I don't know the name of it. But let me know in the comments if you guys have tried that, because I really want to know how it is. And I've seen a bunch of stuff, I just haven't been able to get it yet. Anyways, I appreciate you guys, and thanks so much. And I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you soon with another new video. Bye.